How excited are you for another Amazon meetup? So excited. What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. This should be a good one. We're heading to the LA Amazon Sellers Meetup tonight. Uh, so that should be really good. I'm not speaking at this one, but it should be great to just connect with other sellers and uh, see the other speakers that are gonna be there and just meet up with a bunch of you guys. So that's gonna be some really good content and a really good uh, meetup for those of us that are there. Uh, so far today, I was just doing some random work, uh, a lot of PPC stuff today. And uh, now before we head there, we're gonna grab something to eat. quick segment not talk too long because I don't know how much content I'm gonna get when I'm there but because PPC is fresh on my mind because I was working on that today myself I want to just give a few extra tips I did do a full PPC video fairly recently so I'll make sure to link that up or if I forgot just type in my name and PPC and I'm sure that you'll be able to find it uh, but probably the main question I got after that one was like okay I set it up now what like and just a quick rundown on that once you run these things for a while, the most valuable thing you can do is two things really. One is the core of all PPC optimization, which is spend more of what's working, spend less of what's not working. That literally condenses the truth of all PPC in one sentence, uh, meaning spend more on the campaigns that are profitable, spend less on the campaigns that are not profitable. Same thing applies to keywords. Spend more on profitable keywords, spend less on not profitable keywords until you're running profitably. Now, the way you can continue to scale up the profitable is by running your search term report. So run your search term report once you have a bunch of data. It's right there in Amazon. It allows you to see a whole bunch of other keywords and then take those exact keywords and put those into a new exact match proven keyword campaign and that one should be very profitable because it's ones that have proven to be profitable already. Another thing I was doing today was um, looking at those search term reports and seeing the ones that were bleeding cash and then using those terms to create negative keywords. A negative keyword in a campaign is um, it's telling your PPC campaign not to bid on this particular keyword it's very specifically. So you can put it in exact or phrase. So I was taking some of those that were just bleeding and this is not something you can do every single day, obviously. You need like more and more data. So I hadn't done this in quite a while. So uh, I had some that were able to be put into my existing campaign. So those are a few of the things that I was working on today with PPC. Kind of just one of the main day-to-day -day things in your Amazon workflow. How do you feel about PPC? The, the paper clip? Yes. What? Are you reading these? Yeah. What the? Better to do it, right? What this is? 
fidget spinner. Fidget? Fidget. Fidget, fidget cube. cube. So if you were selling this and you just had an exact match on fidget cube, <coughs> meaning you were just bidding on fidget cube, you would get your search and reports and it would say fidget cube, fidget cube, fidget cube. You'd be like, great, I'm selling fidget cubes. If you had a broad match, meaning you're open to anyone that kind of matched part of fidget cube, one day you would start seeing results that said fidget spinners. And you would have no idea what the fuck that was. Right? Because it was a brand new, for a minute, it was a brand new thing. You would have been one of the first people to discover this thing. And that's just by virtue of the fact that you were using PPC properly and not just putting it on automatic and running it, letting it run. You were like reviewing your reports, looking at it, and going, not going, and going, oh, this doesn't, I'm getting a lot of impressions with no clicks, no sales. What is this thing that people are searching for? And you would have been one of the first to market the fidget spinner. So like the take home lesson from that is like review your PPC. Like don't review it mindlessly. A lot of these automatic programs will say, just we'll, we'll do everything. Your automatic campaign doesn't have the intellect of a human being or like the kind of ability to like socially reverse engineer what's happening. And if they just see a keyword that doesn't meet their metrics, they'll just mute it. If they see a keyword that's 14% and you want 12%, they'll just bring it down. It this does require a little bit of, I don't want to say art because it's not that cool. Uh, it requires a little bit of just attention. You know what I mean? Just so, once you get started. We gotta leave by 10, so just keep that in mind. Um, thanks for coming, I appreciate it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Good luck on all your adventures. Yeah, same okay. to you. Uh, all right, let's get over. What's up? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you again. Yeah, same Thank to you. Hi. Hi, Jessica. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, that was another super solid meetup. Uh, always fun to get to meet a lot of you guys. Answered a ton of questions. Unfortunately, wasn't really filming myself as I was answering those. Would have been cool to uh, get a lot of those questions on the channel. Just was uh, kind of like surrounded by people and couldn't really set my camera. But yeah, it was awesome. Again, always just really great to get to meet you guys and just talk in person and answer your direct questions and try to help you out. It was funny, uh, like the first talk ended up being about PPC and it was very much in line with a lot of what I was already saying in today's video, so that worked out conveniently. So hope, hopefully I uh, caught a good little clip of him speaking and I think it'll kind of honestly fit in and wrap up this video pretty nicely. So uh, I think I think you probably got your values worth in this one already. So yeah, that'll be it for the main part of this video. Uh, I will say there is another meetup this coming Wednesday. We'll see when this video gets up, but it should be in plenty of time. This coming Wednesday, it's the Seller Insights meetup. I should have a link by then or just Google that. But that one is also going to be in LA at WeWork. Uh, I believe it's the Hollywood WeWork. The link will be up with all the details. Uh, but I'm going to be speaking at that one, so that should be cool. All the meetups are always cool. So come out to that one if you didn't make this one or if you did make this one, you want to come out to that one too. Awesome. I'll see you guys there. Uh, that'll be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you watched this far and you're not subscribed, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I post a new video or when I go live and you can get in on a QA. and a uh, Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.